And it's now with more on re really just such a shocking announcement. Yeah, Kurt, today the legendary diehard actor revealed that he was diagnosed with aphasia. Many of us have never heard of it, but it's actually quite common. According to the National Aphasia Association, the brain disorder is more common than Parkinson's disease, cerebral palsy, or muscular dystrophy, affecting some 2 million Americans with 180,000 people diagnosed each year. Depending on the type of aphasia someone has, it can often affect a person's ability to communicate, making it hard to speak, write, write, read, or even understand what others are saying based on which part of the brain is affected. Today we spoke to a local speech pathologist who told us that at times it can be a very isolating and frustrating disease. Depending on the type, you have what you want to say, but in some cases you just can't get those words out. Mm -hmm. You have it pictured inside your head, you can describe it, all this other stuff, but the actual name of whatever you're thinking of just doesn't come out. Now, if you have it to where you don't comprehend it all and everything flows very quickly, none of it makes sense at all. So if you can't get it to the point where it makes sense, then you can't communicate your basic wants and needs. Allison says aphasia can be caused by traumatic brain injuries, stroke, or even dementia. It's not clear which, if any of those factors, cause Willis to develop the disorder. And even though it can be a difficult diagnosis, Walker says it can get better with therapy and working on word-finding techniques. Reporting in the studio, Pari Cruz, News 3.